Seen here is the Polish Land Forces AHS Crab. It is a 155mm NATO compatible self propelled tracked gun howitzer. Designed in Poland by Huta Stalowa Wola, a major producer of military equipment. The design of the AHS Crab is unique, bringing together a number of proven key elements found on other self propelled howitzers from around the world. After several years of building various prototypes, and bringing together a number of international manufacturers. The final production version is now arming the Polish Land Forces with ours that is built in Poland under a number of license agreements. The Crab is set to begin replacing the aging, early 1970s designed Soviet era 2S1 Gwozdika self propelled 122mm howitzer. Seen here, it is a non standard NATO shell firing system. The Polish military have decided it's out of date for its military needs. Even though some Polish modernization has taken place, such as the fitting of WB Electronics Topaz artillery fire control systems, which are fitted as standard across the range of Poland's shell firing artillery. Its actual date for full retirement is now unclear. Russia's illegal invasion of Ukraine has caused many nations across Europe to rethink their future military needs and to increase budgets for military defence spending. The crab as of yet remains unproven in battle, which cannot be said of Poland's WZ-77 Dana howitzers. These Czech manufactured howitzers, seen here firing of an American paladin, have seen successful action with Polish troops in Afghanistan. The Dana howitzer design is now reaching 40 years of age, and although it fires a non-standard NATO shell, it will continue to operate with Polish land forces following modification plans, which will keep it in service for at least another 25 years. Interestingly, the barrel caliber remain unchanged, meaning it will continue to fire a non-NATO standard shell. As well as the relatively recent introduction of the Crab Howitzer, the Polish Land Forces have also received the first deliveries in 2017 of M120 Rack, a self-propelled gun equipped with an automatically loaded 120mm mortar. The vehicles shown here are the SMK120 Rack variant, with the mortar mounted on a wheeled chassis. The track variant is also planned. Getting back to the AHS Crab, it is built around a Hanwar Defence K9 Thunder chassis with a version of an AS90M Braveheart turret. A Rhine metal 155mm barrel manufactured under licence in Poland and Polish WB Electronics Topaz Artillery Fire Control System. The Crab is powered by a Rolls Royce MTU MTA81 KA500 engine supplied from Germany. The main gun can fire 155mm NATO projectiles from a maximum range of 40 km. 40 rounds of ammunition are stowed inside the turret and chassis. The turret is mounted with a 12.7mm machine gun serving as a secondary armament for the vehicle. The crab is also armed with a bank of four 81mm smoke grenades on either side of the turret. The crab is more effective firing as part of a battery between 8 and 12 operating together and supported by command vehicles, ammunition carriers, recovery, recon and workshop support vehicles. Battery crews are likely to practice shoot and scoot tactics with the crab howitzer crews firing several rounds at the target and then moving away promptly to avoid potential incoming counter fire. The crab can reach 60 km an hour on hard surfaces. Thanks for watching.